I'm going to do a quick start on smart contracts. So, what is smart contracts? It's an agreement between two people in the form of computer code. They run on the blockchain so they are stored on a public database and cannot be changed, meaning they can be sent without a third party, meaning a middleman. Now, why is that important to us? Well, first of all, it's cost efficient. If we're paying for solicitors and estate agents and, and type of stuff like that, it's more money of, out of our pocket. <clears throat> the speed that you can have a smart contract, it's a lot quicker than waiting days for solicitors to get back to you and the estate agents and stuff like that. But I'm just doing the analogy on property. So smart contracts allow you to exchange anything of value, including money, shares, property, and exclude the middleman. So if you've loaned someone money and they decide to run away with that money, that is implemented in the smart contract so they can't physically take it. It's stored on the blockchain. And if they don't if they don't come up to their agreement, the money goes straight back into your account through the blockchain with the transparency that it has. So you can't get sort of frauded. So just think of a smart contract as a vendor machine. You've got your money. You put your money in the vendor machine. You press the code and you get that prize. And it's similar to a smart contract. So if you put the, the wrong amount of money in and press the button for that prize, you will simply not get that prize. Or if you simply put the right money in and press the wrong code, you will not get that prize. And that's sort of the similarity between a smart contract. Basically, you come up with an agreement, it gets put into computer code, you pay your money or the seller pays his money and it's stored up on a blockchain and it can't be manipulated. And that is final. So for an example, you want to sell your property you have to go to the estate agents, you have to agree a price, and they put your property on the market for sale. A seller eventually comes in with a price, and it goes back and forth until it's agreed. So you found a price, it's agreed, and then now you need to go and do the legals, which is solicitors. So you're going to see your solicitor, they do all the drafts and stuff like that, which could take a lot of time. And it does because I've experienced it myself. So the smart contract's going to eliminate that. And it's going to save you money. And it's going to save the seller's money. So imagine the solicitor's gone and the estate agent's gone. And you've just got the smart contract in place. So you and the seller come together. You agree a price. It all gets sorted out into a smart contract, puts in a digital form in code using cryptography so it can't be manipulated, it's transparent so you can see. And you've just saved yourself. Some of the prices range from 3500 to 5000 depending on where you are. And that's going to take a fraction of the price to get a smart contract in place. And the Land and Registry Office have already tested that now. They've done an example of a normal way using the solicitor and they've done one using a smart contract. If you go on the website, it will show you. So that's just bringing one industry, speed, efficiency, efficiency and price saving. And the other ones is the insurance industry. How many times do insurance claims get brought out with a lot of paperwork when you can just use a smart contract in digital form? Mortgage loans, how much paperwork do you use there? You, you can just put that on a smart contract. An employment contract. So if anything goes wrong, it's in that smart contract. It can't be manipulated or changed all of a sudden. The supply chain. Obviously, the supply chain. There's a lot of benefits from using a smart contract. So the history was proposed in the 1990s by... He's a lawyer and a cryptographer, Nick Sabo. So obviously, there's a lot of people implementing smart contracts in different currencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. And we're still in the early adoption stages, so it's gonna take a little bit more time, but there's millions of smart contracts being implemented around the world now as we speak, and it's only grown and grown and grown. So this is just something to look out for if you are in the property game, if you're a contractor, if obviously you use insurance, which we all do. So it's gonna be shaken up for a bit, and. There's going to be a lot of people taking it out of the market at the moment from solicitors 
and the estate agent sort of thing. So it's just something to think about. So if you want to know a little bit more about smart contracts in depth, then there's a lot of information or you can follow us in the Blockchain Trading Academy where we dish out loads of content for free and you can get yourself knowledgeable. So I hope you liked the video and if you liked it, that's great. If you need to know a little bit more about different stuff, then please just write in the comments and I will get some videos out for you. So take it easy guys, enjoy your Sunday and I shall speak to you all soon.